I am back and today we're going to do some more work for the TS1 engine and it's going to be a geared clutch been running these for my, in my engines for quite a while I've got them in all my bikes so uh, it's going to be handmade so you can get your files out and your grinders out and your welding kit and you can do exactly the same as what I'm going to do now a geared clutch let's go and do it okay today we're going to be uh, working with hand tools mainly in other words we're we're not going to affect the climate and burn energy except for body heat and we're going to make ourselves a geared clutch mechanism by hand right first of all we've got our machine bar here yeah? which I've cleaned up with some emery cloth because the machining was a little bit rough 17 millimeters in diameter the same as our clutch bush original bush so first thing we're going to do is blue it up so we can make some measurements on it and scribe it up where we're going to cut and stuff okay should be enough and let that dry okay just zoom in a little bit if you can it's good enough right the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scribe off the face here at uh, 12 millimeters there we go and then we've got to measure how far we're going to cut in we're going to cut in by 14 millimeters so we'll just mark that up as well right so we've marked that in a little close up of what we're doing yep so you can see that's scribed in and now we've got to cut that section out okay we've cut into that with the grinder and took that section out so now we're going to finish it by hand with the file and then we're going to blue it again right put some more blue in Now we're going to have to mark up the teeth on there. We're going to dry off a little bit. We mark off our first tooth at 1.5 millimeters. Then the next one will be marked in at four and a half millimeters <sighs> then the next one will be seven and a half millimeters three mil 
would be seven, ten and a half millimeters. And that's our final tooth. So, the first tooth's only going to be half a tooth, basically, on the bottom. And then you've got the full teeth after that. <sighs> so now, it's filing time. <laughs> Right, we've got a file, triangular file, with a angle of 60 degrees on it. So we'll, our teeth will be at a 60 degree angle. So we we'll use this to file in the teeth by hand. So I'm about halfway there now. So what I'm doing is I'm going on all the teeth equally and slowly the bluing will decrease evenly and you'll have even teeth. If you try to do one, you're not going to do it correctly. You have to do all of the four at the same time, one, a bit on each one, until you slowly decrease the blue, until it gets to a point, and then they will all be even. As you can see now we've just got if it'll focus very fine even blue lines that means they're all pretty well equal and at the same depth I'm hoping these are going to focus Let's put some extra light and as you can see this is the first part of our piece it's going to have an oil groove put into the top of it yet it's not quite totally finished but that's basically the geared piece and we'll just drop it into a uh, casing right Damn thing. okay so we just cleaned up Cleaned it up a little bit, there was a little bit, a few sharp edges on it, but that's how it fits in. Fits in like that, and then that other section is going to have a, uh, a gear on it. Okay, for the next piece, we're just going to use an old brake lever. You can use practically any of the levers and we're going to cut it off and then we're going to build it up with weld and then file it to shape and then cut teeth into it so first job is to just chop it off job is welding it this is the tricky bit <laughs> weld this baby up a little bit bend the rod a bit uh, without burning myself <laughs>
okay so that's our welding we've built it up now with weld as you can see now we're going to file it all down to the right shape and then cut some teeth into it Yeah, let's go in and have a look. Okay, so the bit that we've added on and welded up and, and ground to shape is uh, 7.5 millimeters. Then we now blew it up and start filing teeth. Okay. Well, that's uh, two finished pieces ready to go in now. So we're going to just put it together and uh, see uh, how sweetly it works. So that's it fitted. It's now got its little oil lubrication groove in there. And... That's how it works. So I hope you enjoyed my video and a little tutorial on how to make yourself a geared clutch mechanism which should lighten your clutch by 20-30% depending on what clutch you got uh, and what cable and etc but uh, yeah I've been using them for the last three years and I've got them in all my bikes and they work fine so have a go yourself and enjoy <laughs> lots of filing <laughs>